Hey guys, Rusty here, and I'm going to be showing you how you can get the Silver Wind Larian, which is one of those new Bastion Skylines, pretty much. I'm a big fan of this mount, really because of just how simple it is. I'm I'm definitely a fan of this one. And overall, guys, it is a very easy mount to get. You're just going to go around collecting 50 of these pretty much little anima crystals for an achievement, and then essentially that's, that's the main meat of it. Then you go smack a bell and then you have the mount. In this video, I am going to show you every single crystal location, of course. Now, I know I'm behind on making this video. I mean, most people made this a Shadowlands launch, but I purposely waited for flying because, guys, flying just makes collecting these crystals just so much easier. They, it is possible to do without flying, but it's just really annoying. So, with all that being said, let's get right into the guide. Now, like I said, guys, at the beginning of the video, you need to collect 50 of these lost anima crystals, which will give you an achievement called Shard labor now 45 of these are located in the open world of bastion however there are five located in two dungeons two of them being in the necrotic wake three of them being in the spires of ascension so let's focus on these dungeon crystals first starting over with the necrotic wake now you can do this on any difficulty normal heroic or mythic normal mode with really high gear depending on your class is actually soloable but you can also just do these in a group since a lot of the crystals aren't out of the way now the first one in the Karatic wake is pretty much right after the first boss the abomination guy it's going to be hidden near this little bell just go to where i am on the map it's by that one named necromancer dude and again the anima crystal will be right by the bell now, the second and final one for the Necrotic Wake is shortly after the first one. It's going to be by that one bone dude, uh, the one, uh, so it's basically it's a copy of Lord Maragar from Ice Crown Citadel. Essentially, it's going to be right behind this pillar on the little bridge where most groups tend to skip some packs. Just go to where I am. Now, I did already have this one, so it's not there in the video, but I will point it out where it is, of course, for you guys. It'll be right behind that pillar. You just click it, and that'll do it for the Necrotic Wake. Now, for the next three, we're going to head over to the Spires of Ascension. Again, same thing. Just go to where it is. Normal, Heroic, or Mythic. And if you can't solo it on Normal, if you don't have the gear or the class to do it, again, you can just do it in a group. The three crystals are not out of the way, so it's not like you need to tell your group to pull some extra packs. Now, the first crystal is going to be right after the first boss in Spires of Ascension. It's essentially just going to be behind the lounge chair, which is right near the first boss. As usual, just go to where I am on the map but it's just behind that lounge chair. You could go ahead and pick it up. The second one is immediately after the second boss. Now you would go to where you would click on the Kyrian to fly over to the next area. But before you do that, there's gonna be a little pillar to the left of that Kyrian and hidden behind that pillar is going to be your second anima crystal. Don't fall off while trying to click it. The third and final one for Spires and the dungeon ones is going to be uh, near the third boss. You don't actually have to kill the third boss to get this one. It's going to be right by, right on the edge, where you would talk to the Kyrians to fly up to the last boss. It's going to be chilling in the corner, right over there. You can go ahead and click it, and that is all five of the crystals for the dungeons. The rest, the next 45, are located in the open world of Bastion. Now, I'm going to do this a little different than I do with most guides. Most guides, it's commentary the whole way through. However, it's not really necessary to collect the 45 crystals that I have to commentate each one. They're pretty straightforward. So, I'm just going to show you guys where they are on the map, how to get to them, and where, of course, they are located. I'm just going to play some Halo music in the background. Mute it if you want, although who would ever mute Halo music? I mean, it's, it's Halo music. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit because there are a couple extra steps that you have to do once you actually have all the crystals. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Collect those crystals.
That's scary. Anyways, I'm back. So once you collect all of the 50 crystals, you're going to want to head again near to where the Spires of Ascension is. Just go to where I'm on the map. You're going to talk to Forge Light. Ah, I forgot his name. It's the Forge Light dude. Who cares about his name? He has one job, one purpose only, and that's to cut butter or in this case, make you a hammer, which is basically just a crystal hammer, which is kind of funny because it's, um, it's item quality is actually artifact quality, which I thought was kind of funny. Anyways, once you have the hammer, again, you need all 50 crystals from the craft it for you. Just head over to where I am on the map. You're going to have the bell. You're going to take that hammer. You're going to line up the shot. You're going to swing at that bell. And then there you go. The Larian will fly down from the sky. And you know what? He, apparently, he summons a chest, which is a little weird, but whatever. Anyways, you loot the chest. And in that chest is going to be your mount. There you go, guys. So again, just to summarize, you collect all 50 crystals. You go to where the forge light is. Just get your hammer, swing the hammer at the bell, open the chest, and there's your mount. Yeah, and this mount is really, really easy to get, guys. It's just going to take some time. Easy in terms of difficulty, not in terms of time spent. People always confuse that, okay? Easy mount to get. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool, nice, little, simple mount. I don't think every single mount needs to be, uh, a, like, a giant fucking, like, bejeweled cup on top of Sargeras's fucking shoulders, right? I, I think, although, that, I mean, that would be pretty cool, right? Anyways... I really like this mount. I hope the guide helped you out. Throw it a like if it helped you out. Sub to the channel if you're not already. And remember, Halo 3 is the best Halo. Halo Infinite might change that. Halo 3 is the best for now, though. Alright, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.